Yeah, this is Paul. I was reading Law on the Farm. Yes. They have what's called commission merchants, uh, factors, and brokers. A person who, in the pursuit of an independent calling, is uh, employed by another to sell property for him and is uh, vested with uh, uh, possessions or control of the goods. <laughs> or authorized to receive payment uh, from the purchaser is known as a factor or a commission <laughs> a merchant. The goods may be in the warehouse of the factor or he may hold a bill of lading from a common carrier or a warehouse receipt entitling the holder to the delivery of the property. <laughs> Uh, the duties of a factor require him to sell the goods, deliver, uh, collect payments, render accounts of sales, and uh, use due diligence and reasonable precautions to protect and preserve goods, such as uh, a reasonably prudent man would take of his own goods uh, similarly situated. Obey instructions of the consignor, preserve from mortgage, pledge, or other lien, so that's a place of consignment. You know what I thought was really interesting mm -hmm. is such as a reasonably prudent man uh, would take of his own goods. <laughs> now, uh, I've been thinking about this new secret society called the treasure chest, and <laughs> As a reasonably prudent man, let me let me say let's let's say that you decided you were going to put the mouths and the tongues of my family, my sons and my daughters in the mouths of dogs and cats, <laughs> and they were going to have the taste buds of animals, <laughs> and then you were going to take from my daughters uh, their their uh, sexual nerve endings in their clitoris, and you were going to put that on uh, the nipple of their left breast. <laughs> now, as a reasonably prudent man, if I found out that you actually did anything to the sexuality of my daughters, <laughs> I'd get very upset as a reasonably prudent man. Now, the treasure chests are women that... They've had somebody make decisions about their sexuality and their sexual nerve endings that they themselves did not understand. <laughs> and as reasonably prudent women, there are those that would lounge on a couch in my office without any clothes on just to move uh, the left nipple back to the clitoris and move the taste buds of the tongue that was on dogs, cats, or apes <laughs> back into their human taste buds. <laughs> now, when you think about reasonably prudent women that want to be initiates <laughs> in the treasure chest, it sounds somewhat pornographic, but the only way to get that nipple back where it was five years ago or get these taste buds off the dog is they have to they have to do certain things. What I decided to do is I have 10 different chairs in each of my offices and I have a morning office and an evening office, but I'm going to put four chairs types of lounge couches that are kind of a chase lounge where a woman could lounge for four hours while 16 different women volunteer to keep her stimulated because all they need to do actually <laughs> is put their left nipple on that woman that's lounging on the couch's clitoris <laughs> because somebody decided that they were going to change the sex nerve endings of the population <laughs> now any reasonably prudent woman would want all of her sexual nerve endings where they were before those in authority decided that they were going to rearrange their sexual nerve endings yes they would and then 
to make it really frustrating for the 16 women, because it's about every 15 minutes, a woman would walk and say, hello, I'm here to stimulate your sexuality. <laughs> well, all you really have to do is just put your left nipple on my clitoris, and I'll be stimulated. <laughs> is every woman that gets to lounge on that chase couch that I'm designing, <laughs> specifically for those four different couches in each of those offices, they have to cook for the women. <laughs> now, Probably it won't taste very good, but those that win the treasure chest, that couch that I see, they say, oh, I get a reward for doing good as a man <laughs> because I, I get to be stimulated. I, I don't actually get the orgasm, but I get to be stimulated as a man. <laughs> uh, the 16 woman and the woman that was lounging on the couch for four hours that volunteered her reasonably prudent sexuality, <laughs> Uh, they have to eat her cooking. Now, if you notice that dogs and cats usually eat the same food every day, whereas human beings, they like to eat different dishes every day. Most people will eat something different for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> That's what the taste buds <laughs> of, of uh, human beings does to the want of the appetite to normalize what a reasonably prudent person would want to experience. <laughs> now, those on the four chase lounges, I plan to have dinner with them myself, all four of them later on that evening. <laughs> Something I'll schedule, maybe a nice massage for them. <laughs> a visit to the au pair that is taking care of their little girl or little boy. <laughs> nice shower. <laughs> Feeling so clean. <laughs> and then we're going to move the sexual nerve endings back. <laughs> and we're going to take the tongue off the dogs. <laughs>